the zoomies. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but he just booked it across my um, my house and into his tunnel. Um, anyways, I was just Jesus, hence the hands. Um, but this video is not that video. Um, did I finish my intro? I don't remember. Hello, party people. My name is Moth. My pronouns are they, them. And welcome to today's video. I'm super happy you're here. Today we are doing the rarest trickers of all time. You'll never find trickers like this ever again, ever, anywhere else, okay? This first trigger is um, an orange. It's an orange. I'm just tapping on an orange. Okay, okay. Don't worry, I promise I've got interesting objects around. Do you want to see an interesting object? If you're new here, you won't recognize this guy. But if you've been around, if you've been around, you know him, and you know him well. This is Lecter. Lecter used to be in the background of all my videos, and um, I made him. He is my son. I made him with my own hair. So, he has a very distinct tapping sound. no room because I have the stuff everywhere. Poor Tiki Wiki. Oh, can you see him? Can you just barely see him? I know. Tiki. Oh. Here he is. Here's the baby. He's such a cutie. This morning, he bit my hair. He genuinely took a giant bite out of it. Like a spat it out. I don't know if he was trying to groom me or what, but that was weird. <laughs> okay, Tiki. I know. Are you gonna hop down? Okay, I love you too. Oh, he's gonna scratch his, his guitar. Also do Lecter's makeup with one of Tiggy's toys. He's looking at me right now. My older sister bought him this. It's like a cat toy with catnip, I guess, inside of it. But it's a little princess. It's Cinderella. She 
got it on sale for like Okay, whoever just coughed, that is so rude. I say that like it was one of you guys watching. It's my downstairs neighbors. I got a comment yesterday that was like, notice how it's always um non-skinny. Notice how it's never skinny, attractive girls that have pronouns, which first of all, babe, did you go to kindergarten? Everyone has pronouns. Secondly, um, hello, are you looking at me? Okay, I am definitely on the skinny side, okay, and attractive, which is also subjective, but like, come on. The amount of Instagram DMs I get that ask me if I'm into boys or girls, that should be enough to show you that clearly someone finds me attractive. At least one person in the world. <laughs> Anyways. And we could do like Deuce Makeup with an orange. I just think that's such a funny comment. Like, I don't really get hate, which I think is very amazing. I just think the ASMR community is really awesome. I think the only reason, the only reason that people have ever sent me hate is because I say that my pronouns are they, them, which I've been trying to do more often, even in role plays, because it's just an important, like, thing to know about me. And, um, wait, what if I did Lecter's makeup with, with Kirby? Kirby would make an excellent beauty sponge. I should do like a doing your makeup with weird objects. Kirby would be a good one, look at him. He'd be perfect. But anyways, I just think that that, like, it's, it's, it, it is really nice that I don't really receive any hate for really anything else. Like, I just receive the occasional comment talking about that I have pronouns, which you have pronouns. And, and like, unless you have no neo or no pronouns and you just use your name, you know, that's cool too. my downstairs neighbors have the plague, but they actually just like cigarettes. No way to them. Um, trigger warning, I'm about to show you a real life cat bone. This is a cat bone that I, I found a cat skeleton, and so and we had a landlord. My landlord was actually fixing the bathtub at the time. And I asked my mom, I said, hey, you know that cat skeleton that we found in the back? We lived on an acreage. It was this big plot of land. Can I pick it in and, like, take the flesh off the bones, basically? And my mom said yes. And she said that I should ask the landlord. So I asked the landlord, and I said, um, hey, can I have that cat skeleton? And he said, uh, if your mom's fine with it, okay. <laughs> He probably thought I was weird, but, yeah. Um, but then I buried the cat skeleton, and I only got this one bone, and I feel kind of guilty, because I'm like, I wish, maybe, I, I, part of me always feels like I shouldn't, like, touch my face after handling this, but I washed it, it's clean, I promise. And I didn't just, like, wash it, I, like, I, like, properly did the proper, proper precautions, but I have cat hair in my mouth. When do I not have cat hair in my mouth, honestly, is the question. Um, anyways. At least I hope I did it properly. But yeah, the cat skeleton, it, I feel bad that it's separated, but I meant to go back, but then we lost the house. Rest in peace. <laughs> um, this is my jar of watercolor paint. It's only got watercolor paint in here. This one's one of my favorite, Daniel Smith. I've had some of these paints for genuinely, like, oh my gosh, how long have I had some of these paints for? Like, seven years, like this one. Mind you, I don't paint very much nowadays, but I'm never gonna need this much watercolor paint. <laughs> Let me show you one that's, 
used up a little bit. I used a lot of red back in the day. Back in the day, I only had this red. This blue. And this yellow. And then I learned about color theory. Those aren't the greatest colors to have because this, well, like, you want, especially with watercolor paints, you want a cool toned red and a warm toned red. So, for example, this is a warm down red, and this one is a cool toned red. So, when painting purple, if you try to mix purple by getting, like, with this red and this um, uh, warm blue, it is going to come out. Or, is that one a cool toned blue? I don't know. The blues confuse me. Anyways, it's going to come out. with the warm down red, there's uh, orange in it, there's yellow, and what's the, what's the, uh, like, complementary color to purple? It's yellow. Mix purple and yellow together, it makes brown. So does that make sense? Anyways, that's my watercolors. This is a Christmas present that I wrapped. If anyone wants to guess what's in here, it's for my boyfriend who's a nerd. showing you the seashell soup. This is seashell soup. It has a rock in it. And we've got different seashells. And this is a feather that my younger brother gave me. And I disinfected it. Birds scare me. They are gross. Birds have so many diseases. And when people are like trying to save a baby bird, inside 
the jar. That is yet to be determined. <gasps> oh, it smells so strong. It's eucalyptus. It's eucalyptus leaves. Um, these, they're dried eucalyptus. Uh, I, my church gave my family a bunch of eucalyptus. I don't go to church anymore, but back when I was a teenager and had no say, my family went to church and this is actually nice glass tapping. Sometimes when you glass tap, it sounds like too tangy and it like hurts my ears, but. That's nice. Anyways, they gave us a bunch of eucalyptus and I tried them. I'm a witch. I'm using it for witchcraft. So they probably wouldn't like that knowing. I guess I guess I can do more sounds with it. Let me see. leaves in my, 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 my face mask, my mask face hair for relaxation. Styles a little weird, but we don't judge him for it. And the back of his head is very lumpy, bumpy. Okay. But yeah, that's. seashells? You think I would? And it's got some jewelry in it, so it's got... Okay, this is kind of difficult because it's all tangled up. This is, um, a bracelet that I bought off of, like, AliExpress. It's supposed to be Tiger's Eye. I don't even know if it's a real Tiger's Eye, or if it is, it's just... It doesn't look real. I have another Tiger's Eye bracelet. It's over there. And, um, that one is very real. You can just tell the difference. Ugh, why do I have so much cat on my face? This is Moss Agate Necklace. Um, this is a bracelet. I'm gonna be really honest, I borrowed this. Yeah. I borrowed it from a... Um, a major thrift store chain. And, um... A long time ago. I allegedly borrowed it, is what I should say, but yeah, um, it's just like a little bracelet -y watch. I really like it, and I couldn't afford it. <laughs> this is a necklace that I got for my birthday, my 21st birthday for my younger brother, Nick. Shout out to you, Nick. Um, it's really gorgeous. It's like a clear necklace with, um, with a dried flower in it. And we were at a store together, and I looked at them, and I told him, I said, take a picture of that and send it to James. That's my boyfriend. Send it to James and tell him to buy that for me, because I really like it. And Nick said, okay, I'll call you. I'll take a picture. And then took a picture of it. And I forgot about it, because I have the memory of a dead goldfish. And then uh, Nick bought it for me for my birthday, which is so sweet. I love when people, that it's so awesome to me when people remember stuff that you say and they, they put that nugget of, like, 
Oh, I just think that's so sweet of him. And I love the necklace so much. And I wore it one time. I was like, of course I wore it. I love it. And I wore it one time and I was visiting him and he's like, you're wearing the necklace. I'm like, of course I am. I love this necklace. These are two candles with, I think this one's Saturn and this one's Jupiter. I'm going to be really honest. I, I made these a long time ago. I'm not a very good witch. I, I don't do my... I, I, I have too many interests and things I love and I have a terrible memory. Um, but I would like to, 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 to read more books and to know more stuff. I have a million books. I need to read more. is stickers, nail clippers. These are what I clip his nails with. He hates it. He utterly despises it. Um, I just thought of something. What did I think of? I don't even remember. I remember. I have this jar and inside it Satisfied. 
having a lot of fun with this. I've been just breaking up like any chunk I can find that can be broken. I've just been breaking it. Oh, I love it. 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 Alrighty. I guess that's everything from me. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Um, I hope that you found this relaxing. And uh, yeah, check out my Ko-Fi shop. I have stickers for sale and monthly memberships and art commissions and a lot of stuff. So you can check that out in the description.